New at 10, Gulfport homeowners pushing to keep their neighborhoods protected against new military staging plans. The Northport and MDEQ have worked to house the location near 33rd and 34th Avenue. Tomorrow, ECO, an environmental organization, heads to Jackson to hear arguments at the Mississippi Court of Appeals. Stephanie Poole has more. We don't want the port to, to put this in our community because we, we, we think we deserve better. We've attended lots of meetings that they had down at the port, but they don't hear us, they don't listen. John Johnson and Ruth Story fight to preserve the grounds of North Gulfport and Turkey Creek. It's a four-year battle they faced years prior. Following Hurricane Katrina, we learned the storm scatter the port of Gulfport's chicken freezers across Highway 90. The port proposed to move the freezers to Turkey Creek community. Homeowners fought and won the case. Now they return to stop new plans. The Port and the Mississippi Department of Environmental Quality aim to build a Department of Defense military staging location. If you notice, uh, there's a railroad track next to this place, and it's a holding station that, uh, that the railroad uses. And of course, they have chemical tanks all parked out there, and that's adverse to the community as well, but it's been there for a long time. Johnson, a Vietnam veteran, joins the three-hour trek to the Mississippi Court of Appeals in Jackson on Wednesday. ECHO, the North Gulfport Community Land Trust, and the Anointed Temple AOH Church of God are represented by the ACLU of Mississippi and Earth Justice's Gulf Regional Office. Petitioners are appealing the water quality certification issued by the MDEQ Permit Board. It says it contains legal deficiencies and harmful effects. In state documents, information states the project will include 3.15 acres of wetlands on a 16-acre site for the creation of a rail spur, staging lots, and a security fence in support of the Department of Defense shipments. They want to put tanks and all kind of cargo out here. You don't know what's still in the soil. You know what, what it will bring as far as pollution to the people who live in this area. Story says the lot used to be the home of a fertilizer plant. Now she's fearful it can put the community at risk of toxic exposure and increased flooding. She also recommends the port to plant the location near the Naval Construction Battalion Base or a location on Seaway Road. Especially when you have a seaway that has been designed for this kind of uh, businesses. Both are hopeful the courts will consider their request. Make a determination and think about the underserved community that is being affected by. In Gulfport, Stephanie Poole, WLOX News Now. We have since reached out to the Port of Gulfport. They declined to comment on the ongoing litigation. The oral argument before the Mississippi Court of Appeals begins at 1.30 tomorrow. You can watch it live or stream it.